Hey everyone, welcome back to PA Organic Garden. My name's Eddie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really easy but delicious hot sauce recipe. Uh, you can basically use whatever peppers you want. Today I'm going to be using bell peppers, lipstick pepper, and um, a sweet Hungarian wax pepper. And for spice, we have ghost peppers. So come on and check it out. It's really simple to do. Obviously the first step is to slice them up. You can see here I like to use mostly the red bell peppers because they just have such a better flavor. Um, this one, not quite fully red yet, but you know, close enough, whatever. Same with this one. Still going to have a really good flavor. Uh, lipstick pepper, obviously, fully red. If you want the maximum amount of heat, let the ghost peppers turn red. And uh, Usually people eat these when they're still green, but I like a little bit of red in them just to, you know, enhance the flavor a little bit. Obviously, the riper they are, the more flavor they have. Then, uh, this part's pretty simple. Just cut the peppers. And I'll cut it up in decently small slices. Toss it in a food processor. Obviously, you're not going to want any of the seeds, so you can I'm just going to set this right here for now. I like to save all the seeds. This part right here of the bell pepper, uh, I don't really care for that, so I usually cut that out of there. You could probably add it in and it wouldn't really hurt the flavor, but it's whatever. Again, just cutting it up into chunks. Throwing it in the food processor. These are some of the best tasting bell peppers I've ever had. Actually, the best tasting bell peppers I've ever had. Uh, you can check out my review I did on them. Obviously, when your food processor gets a little bit cool like that, you can just... Go like that and grind it down a little bit. Well, we'll do the lipstick pepper next. These things have a really good flavor as well. keep that separate so I remember that's a lipstick pepper I think it's one of my favorite things about peppers is the colors just I think it's beautiful the way the red and the green go together get another bell in here Uh, you can make use this uh, recipe using, like I said, any type of sweet pepper, really. Any type of hot pepper, too. But uh, this is just what I've been making. It's, you know, the peppers I have on hand. Just use what you have on hand. I actually want to make a batch uh, with just lipstick peppers. No bell peppers. Well, lipstick and uh, ghost peppers, that is. But without using any of the bell peppers, I think that would be really, really good. Because the lipstick peppers just don't have that, you know, bell pepper kind of taste. Uh, I call it chlorophyll -y, like a green kind of a taste. But, I don't know, call it whatever you want. Oops. And uh, stuff this stuff down. And for the wax pepper. I'm 
pretty sure these are actually sweet banana peppers, but same thing. It's a wax pepper. They're just, I mean, they were labeled wax pepper on the website I got them from, uh, chiliplants.com. But it didn't say about them being sweet. It also didn't say about them being hot either. I guess I should have paid a little bit more attention when I was ordering. Because I was definitely going for the hot ones. And these are in no way hot. You want to really uh, blend it all up well. Notice I didn't add the hot peppers yet. I'll let you all see how liquidy this stuff is because these peppers are so juicy. Now is when we start adding uh, the hot peppers. Obviously you don't want these little green pieces. And uh, honestly what I've been doing, I've been cutting the peppers open like this and uh, saving a couple of the seeds from these hot peppers too because I'm doing a seed giveaway. But you can actually just throw them all right in. Uh, I also recommend wearing gloves for this. I guarantee I'm going to rub my eye at some point today and start freaking out because it burns. Um, I do that every day, no matter what. I mean, you can wash your hands and touch your eye three hours later and it's still going to freaking burn. Let's see, this cup has a G on it. It's my ghost pepper cup. I'll just cut that whole middle out like that for now. Plop it in there. Plop that one in. Uh, this one, I'm going to let all the seeds in. And then blend it up. Now uh, i got a couple other things here. Some onion. i got one. This is a Chadwick cherry tomato. And then a little bit of garlic. You actually only need... I uh, like one clove of garlic. Just one little, you know, break off one piece. And this is a, uh, I'm not sure what type, but uh, it's, it's a soft neck variety. Uh, pretty spicy. I like it. Gives the hot sauce even more of a bite. But, uh, you know, just make sure to peel off the outside layer. Throw the clove in there. Uh, if you like it a little more garlicky, you can use two cloves. Uh, I personally think one's great. Uh, maybe if you got another like little one like that, you can throw it in. Uh, the tomato, obviously, I take all the seeds out of it, just like that, boom, boom, that easy, plop that in, same thing with this one, just boom, and I guess it's more squish, squish than boom, boom, but you get the idea, just throw that in there, grind it up again while you're getting your own. As you can see, it's not really that much onion, uh, just one slice, it's not very thick, not too thin either. Just add that in. See, the key is a lot of blending. Uh, we're going to throw in a little bit. I'm going to use probably, I'd say about a tablespoon's worth of honey. I just kind of give it a rub. 
rough estimate. Whoa. That's definitely enough. This has a little bit of everything in it. Uh, you can use kind of sea salt here. Just not much at all. I'd say like a pinch. That helps bring out the taste of the bell peppers. And again, just grind it. And then, this is the last thing we're going to add for now. I do two capfuls of apple cider vinegar. Honestly, you can use you could use up to a cup of vinegar in this recipe and it's not going to be bad. But uh, I like mine to be, you know, a little bit thicker. So, <laughs> that's what she said. But uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, so that's how much I use. Just two capfuls. And then one more thing we are going to add is a little bit of lemon juice. But uh, I actually don't add that until it's in the process of cooking. Uh, it's just the way I've always done it. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, next step is to cook it. So we're gonna take it from here and pour it into a saucepan. Let it simmer for a little while. Saucepan, your mix of everything. Dump it in. Oh yeah, splash it all over your stove so you make a big mess and your wife gets mad. That's always fun. She's not here right now, so hopefully I can get this all cleaned up before she gets home. You want to make sure you get you know, everything out of the bottom. Now right, what I'm going to do is just turn this on uh, a really, really low setting. You can see it's pretty low there. But uh, yeah, put a lid on it. simmer. Uh, my clock says it's 521, so around 10 till 6. I'll probably uh, stop it. But uh, until then, you just want to come out every couple of minutes, give it a little stir. You don't want anything to get, you know, burnt to the bottom of the pot. If you want at this point too, you can put a little bit on the spoon. Just a little bit. Try it. Whew, definitely spicy. All right, we'll be back in about 30 minutes. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, just coming out to stir it and add a little bit of the lemon juice. Uh, normally I do have organic lemons. Uh, I just cut it in half and then take one half and squeeze. But uh, I actually don't have any fresh lemons today, so I'm using the cheap method here. Uh, basically just a little bit of this is going to go a long way. And there's just a little quick squirt. Uh, like I said, if you're using regular lemons like I normally do, I have uh, fresh organic lemons. Uh, you just cut it in half and give it a little squeeze. And I actually like to cut it up and eat it afterwards, just because I'm weird and I like the taste of fresh lemons. Uh, as long as you get some type of lemon juice in there. I just can't say this batch is organic. Oh yeah. This sauce definitely has some kick to it. 
other stuff would really go good on um, like hot, uh, uh, hot sauce, yeah, hot wings or tacos. We use it on tacos a lot. Uh, but just about anything, you know, uh, stuffed peppers, whatever. You know, it's just good hot sauce. But we'll be back in like 20 minutes. Alright, so it's been about a half hour. Give it another good stir. And just turn it off. Put the lid back on. And now all you gotta do is wait another 20 minutes, half hour. Uh, just enough for it to cool down so you can put it into the blender and break it down a little bit more. Uh, so I'll see you back here in about 20 more minutes. All right, so it's been about another 20 minutes. Uh, sauce is not really cooled down. It's still actually steaming a little bit, but it's not as hot as it was. So I'm gonna take a lid off, give it a little stir. And uh, you may notice here, I actually have the food processor put away and I use a blender for this part. Uh, it just gets a lot more liquefied than a food processor ever does. Um, but it's good to use the food processor for the first step because it actually breaks down the peppers a lot better in the beginning. Whoop! And my spoon just fell into my sauce. So now i got to get another spoon or fork because I don't want to put my fingers down in there. Ooh, yeah, it's still pretty hot. As you can see, stuff happens. <laughs> uh, I'm just take it. And I'll show y'all what this looks like at this point. Just gonna take it and pour it. Uh, last time I did this, it actually splashed up, and uh, I got a big piece in my eye. So I like to stay kind of back a little further now. Helps if you have the spoon too. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, scooping it out, you know, one scoop at a time with a spoon or whatever. But I'm a little impatient sometimes. Again, you want to make sure to get, you know, all the little stuff at the bottom. Scrape and put in. And you get the lid on. I actually lost the top piece for this, so I just have this little white thing I use and hit liquefy on the board. Honestly, I'll sit here for maybe a good five minutes and blend it, so uh, we'll just fast motion through that part and uh, then I'll show you what I do next. Just pretty much jar it up. See, I don't know if you guys can see the little bit of steam still coming up. But now we just pour it into our jars. See, I just have, uh, usually I use the wide mouth mason jars. Uh, I'm actually using a small mouth mason jar as well, just because it's what I happen to have on hand and clean at the moment. But I like these littler ones because. You know, hot sauce usually comes in littler bottles. There's no point in getting a big quart of hot sauce. Let's try to yeah, pour it equally. Tell me that's not perfect. Two pints of hot sauce right there. 
Well, like I said, if it didn't uh, quite make the two pints, you could have always added a little bit more vinegar to get it to equal out. But I've pretty much got this down. Uh, I've made enough. And I'm just pretty much able to just eye it out until. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Now I got two jars of hot sauce here. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with canning things, you know, boil the lid, put it on, and then you can either, you know, use a pressure cooker or a pot of water. But uh, yeah, it's really not too difficult. About an hour and you got some really great hot sauce. Um, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Uh, Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.